بسم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل الحمد للہ الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم یقل له شریق في الملك ولم یقل له ولی من الذل وكبر هو تکبیر صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرحل صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدہ تم لسانی یفق ہو قولی رسپیکٹیڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنرز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دا آیا وچ آئی ہیو ریڈ اٹ ٹرانسلیٹس دیٹ بسائڈ اللہ نو بڈ از دا کنگ ہی ہیز نو پارٹنر ہی ہیز نو چلڈرن ہی ڈزن نیڈ اینی ہیلپ سو الٹیمیٹلی وی آل ہیو ٹو گلوریفائی ہم الون This is the last verse of Surah Bani Israel, chapter 17. Today the topic is the unfulfilled prophecy of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, from the Bible. Luke chapter 1, verse number 30 onwards. We can start from the context from verse number 20 and we can reach to verse number 30 onwards till 35. You see, the annunciation of Jesus Christ has been mentioned in the Quran as well. But the Quranic prophecy was fulfilled. And I am not going to discuss right now the Islamic uh, this, uh, prophecy, the annunciation, the good news. But I'm going to go into the biblical one. And you will be shocked that no Christian worth the name will ever discuss about this prophecy which I'm going to discuss with my viewers and listeners. Which I'm going to discuss with my viewers and listeners. You see, according to the Bible, Holy Spirit is the entity which inspires the writers to write about the prophecies. Whatsoever the prophecy is, whatsoever uh, the command God Almighty, according to Christianity, is giving, Holy Spirit inspires those writers and then they write down the book. You see, the prophecy has been given to Jesus Christ from his mother through Holy Spirit by Saint Luke in the Gospel. But it is an amazing situation that no pastor ever explains this prophecy. And this prophecy is not being fulfilled at all. And if I keep elaborating, you will see that and you will affirm with me that what I'm telling you that no person can make it so like it is fulfilled. You can never. You see, when the annunciation was given in the Holy Quran to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, if you, you find in two places, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 42 to 49, then in Surah Maryam, chapter 19, verse number 23 onwards, 21 to 25, 26 onward, where Jesus Christ was being given as a glad tiding to Mary, that fear not, God is going to give you a glad tiding. The word from him, God Almighty, And his name will be Jesus, son of Mary. And he will be the Rasul and Abdullah. And when, Jesus, when this baby was born, when Maryam alayha salam brought babe towards the people, they insinuated her. And then Jesus Christ from the mother's arm, he rebuked them. He refuted them. And he said that, I indeed, Abdullah, Allah has given me the book and things that made me a prophet and messenger. So whatever the prophecy and the glad tidings was given in Al-Imran was fulfilled in Surah Al-Maryam. Now if we apply the same test into the Bible, you will see that there is a big problem. According to Christians' eschatology, not our dogma and tenet, we do not believe what they believe. But it is their job to explain now, how would you fulfill all these prophecies? given by angel Jibreel, archangel Gabriel, to Mary, the mother of Christ. And <clears throat> I would like to see that 
which pastor or a born again, you know, dares come and explain me this prophecy. Without wasting time, let me jump directly into the subject. I give you in the beginning about the Holy Quran's perspective of the Annunciation. Now let me jump to the Christian's Annunciation, the glad tidings, the news about Jesus Christ. You know, Mary would be the luckiest woman, alayhi salam, when she heard this prophecy. But you know, irony of fate, all was a damp squib. When you see, when you, when you see the incident happen, it was all found to be a lie. And please, I'm not here to make a mockery of Bible. This is what you are giving us. It's your testament. It's your bona fide. It's your exhibits which you are giving to us. And when we start analyzing it, you have problems. You have grave problems, but you know, somehow you are worrying about Quranic text, Quranic translation. You see, it is an amazing situation. Nowadays, Christians who do not know their own originals, they are picking the things from Quran. That it should be Allahu Akbar, who Akbar, not Allahu Akbar. It is an amazing situation. What an irony of fate. You see, drowning man clutches at straws. The wearer knows where the shoe pinches. These all things are happening in the Christian dumb. The hammer has been given to them. And now they are, you know, like a, you know, punch bag. When you hit a guy or guy is just knocked out, he's just drunk. He doesn't know what's happening or a drunk guy. This is what happens. Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse 18, Allah says, Whenever the truth heard against the falsehood, it knocks out its brain. The brain has been knocked out in Christianity, in Christendom, by the advent of Prophet Muhammad of Arabia, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because whatever he brought was truth. He said, God Almighty said through him, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ Neither they killed him, nor they crucified him. So what happened? And no one can make this so much succinct statement other than God Almighty. This is the reality which no Christian can escape. When Quran makes a verdict, it says clearly, that وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ Neither they killed him nor they crucified him. وَلَاكِنْ شُبِّيَ لَهُمْ But it was made to appear to them so. So this is what happened to them. And now they are fumbling for 2022 years. All the four Gospels, when you start cross-referencing, cross-referencing, cross-reference them, you see, you find that there are contradiction after contradiction. This is how good your documents are. Now, let's come to the subject. You see, there was a glad tiding given to Mary about Jesus Christ and it was not fulfilled at all. Read Luke chapter 1, <clears throat> verse number 20 onwards. Same, just like Quran. Mary came, sorry, Angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, Mary, fear not. God is going to give you a glad tiding. And his, your son, and his name shall be called Jesus, or his name shall be called, or he is Jesus. You see, when this angel was giving the news, he did not say a word Jesus, because Jesus is angelic, angelicized form or Latinized form of the word Isa. First of all, he did not say Jesus. This is what you are, the slave of the translator, translations of the translation of the translation. But you know, I'm not going to take an exception on that because these are your prerogatives. These are your privileges. You want to manipulate the things in the word of God. You want to say that we are sharpening the language, but you are mystifying it. It's your game. It's your game, which you have been playing for thousands of years. Whatever suits you put the word, Whatever doesn't suit the church, remove the word under the name of apocrypha, under the name of dubious books, confusion. These all games have been played or have been, has been playing on till now. And I don't know how long it's going to be played. So, 
angel said that he called he shall be called Jesus the son of the most high you see this expression son of man or son of the most high or son of god i don't want to go into that because these you find so many places these expression it is not a literal sense it is metaphorically because if you do not believe the luke chapter 3 in the genealogy of jesus christ it is written at the last point adam the son of god and adam had no father and no mother so according to your criterion he is greater or leave these discussions out and prophecy listen to these words and from you know till here every christian these hot gospeler bible thumpers these evangelists born again they will quote till here son of the most high now continue the verse continue the verse the verse continues and he will take his father's throne david's throne and he will rule over the house of jacob forever i am asking christians who was ruling on david's throne when jesus was born pontius pilate a pagan a greek pagan he was interrogating jesus instead of jesus would interrogate him according to your scriptures and he asked the question there is a trial going on midnight trial pontius pilate then he roared and back to pontius pilate and what was all going on when jews brought him towards his their own saint hedron they say he is claiming to be the son of god but when they brought to pilate and you know pilate's wife saw a dream that no harm should come to this just man i am asking christian who showed him the dream who showed her the dream the wife of pontius pilate satan or god that no harm should come to this just man this is very clear that he was the mightiest messenger of god and his by pontius pilate saw the right dream but anyways christians you know when you don't want when you want to ignore something you don't want to talk about that anyways pontius pilate was also reluctant to punish him he said that you are putting your blood on an innocent man on my hands and you release barabbas and then they put this guy uh, jesus christ into this picture which i'm not going into that but when the question interrogation was done by pilate he said that you claim that you are the king of the jews king of the jews this is a charge now not son of god because god son of god is a normal thing amongst the greeks and the grecian tars how this uh, hercules apollo this polo and this uh, what you call atos of phrygia dionysus of greece there are many gods zeus they don't care about that so this is jesus said this is i did i say this these are the people who said that he said my kingdom is not of this world what angel said to mary that he will take his father's throne david's throne and the david throne was on this earth it was not in the heavens and he shall reign over the house of jacob forever bani israel children of israel the children of ishaq the children of yaqub jacob he will rule over the children of jacob forever you know those children of jacob the family of yuda juda they killed him on the cross it is all damp squib i want you to justify this prophecy you attack on quran i said which prophecy fulfilled jesus said my kingdom is not of this world and the prophecy was given he will take his father son david throne which was on the earth instead of david there the david throne pontius pilate was sitting and he never got this throne yet those enemy of jew sorry those enemy of jesus christ according to you who put them on him on the cross who put him on the cross they are still ruling in israel and enjoying and calling jesus bastard astaghfirullah on their television programs they are enjoying in israel in tel aviv and you people still waiting for jesus christ and according to them they got rid of him and you took good redemption redemption out of it how come explain this prophecy instead of preaching in the church and getting donations and and all this money in been filling up your bank accounts just tell them why this prophecy didn't fulfill and this is only one this is only one i can quote you many prophecies <clears throat> from the bible related to jesus christ which is all to be uh, all found to be a lie so 
which throne of David was given to Jesus Christ and which house of Jacob he ruled forever. Do you know what's the meaning of forever in English? Forever means the day the thing happened till Yom al Qiyamah. Who is ruling right now in Israel? Who? The one who to say that we got rid of that man, that man of Nazareth. And they call him Bin Pandera. They call him that the Pandera Roman soldier. He married, sorry, he raped Maryam alayhi salam, astaghfirullah, Mary. He raped Mary and produced the bastard children in inverted commas. Nakle kufar kufar nabashat. This is what you have your exhibits and documents. And you attack on us, you call us Antichrist. We Muslims, you can never repay us what we did to you. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu forced us, Quran forced us to believe that Mary, the opposition of Arabs, Jewess, brought a child without any male intervention. You can never repay us. Otherwise, we could have ridiculed so easily. And you laugh on us, the Muslims, the laugh is on you. Judge it not that you not be judged under what judgment? You're judging others, you hypocrites. Why you see the sliver in your brother's eye? First remove the beam from your own eye, then see the sliver in your brother's eye. Hebrews chapter 7, verse, num, verse number 1, Jesus Christ quotation. You hypocrites, <clears throat> you need to worry about your own scriptures, then you talk about Islam. So, I'm repeating again how this prophecy is being fulfilled. Please come forward and let us know. We would like to, you know, listen. We would like to listen through your Holy Spirit power that what happened with, you know, you know the clever Christian. I remember I just discussed this one of the, and it had to be a Pakistani. Had to be a Pakistani. You know, he said to me, no, no, no. actually when he will come back, then this will happen. Does the Bible say that? Read what it is written. Don't interpret. Because <clears throat> if you want to interpret your Bible, then you need to provide the authentic source. Did the disciple of Jesus, you know, made this explanation? Interpretation. Did Jesus interpret like we have the Hadith, the book of Hadith, interpreted, interpreted by Prophet Muhammad? Allah says in Surah Nahal, chapter 60, verse 44, O Muhammad, peace be upon you, we have revealed this book unto thee. And it is your job to explain to the rest of the world. So Quran is there, which is the word of God. And Hadith, the explanation of the Quran. Does this case apply to you? No. So why would I believe your interpretation? Every Christian has his Holy Spirit and all interpretations are varied. So who will give me the authenticity of your interpretation, sir? <clears throat> you cannot make like this. You need have the rock interpretation or concrete evidence to prove your case. So no throne was given to Jesus. Pontius Pilate the pagan was there and he was attacking and punishing Jesus. And the second thing, no ruling of house of Jacob. That house of Jacob, according to Christian, he, they crucified him on the cross. They got rid of him. Later on, Christianity got redemption out of it. And the last point, you know this throne of David, where it is now? In Westminster Abbey, the Royal Parliament Church of England. <clears throat> and how it came about? 70 AD, Titus, the Roman emperor, destroyed the second temple. And he took this throne of David, brought to Scotland, then to Ireland, then to Scotland, then to England. And it is there under the coronation, this Queen Elizabeth or whoever, you know, this coronation happened in royal parliament. It's under the throne of the queen or the king. This is how good it is. Then this throne of David is still there. Jews are looking some right opportunity to bring that and bring to Jerusalem back. And the covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, the belongings and the remnants of Moses and Aaron, alayhi salam, alayhi salatu salam, peace be upon them all. This is how good your documents and your history are. That's all for today. I hope these Christians, you see my main purpose to educate and tell, let you know that, see, these are the things written by hands. It's a lie. You know that. Now you cannot prove it. You see, when God Almighty said throne of David was given, who is speaking the truth? Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ, or God Almighty, or Luke, who is speaking the truth? Let us know, inshallah. And we are happy to listen.